Hello, this is Don from Detecting Doodads. In this video, I'll show you how to install the tether ring on Garrett or Detechnics or MindLab pin pointers. This model is a Garrett Pro Pointer. So the first thing you want to do, while you have it, you're going to install a tether ring. I take the opportunity to do a good cleaning of the unit. It's a good idea to do a good cleaning every once in a while and to you know take the opportunity change the battery and inevitably dirt and dust will get in the battery compartment so I just take a brush and clean it out uh, it's a good idea to do that check the battery contacts take the cap uh, there's usually dust on this flange a uh, good idea is to take and lubricate that o-ring uh, that o-ring will eventually dry out and uh, not seal or it becomes so dry to stick making the cap difficult to remove so just take yourself a little bit of Vaseline doesn't take much a little dab of do you and uh, that o-rings on the end of this cap I just put a little bit on here I rub it in wipe off the excess the next thing you're going to want to do is to remove the foam that is in the bottom of the cap. When you get your tether ring, there is a battery spacer on this end of it. So just take that off. You peel the tape off. Peel the tape off and stick it in there. You take your tether ring you open it up, you place the battery cap just like this, and you evenly push down until it snaps. You just want to make sure that your battery cap is flush on the flange. This is parallel to that. Go ahead and stick your battery in. And then I push on the cap, hold the tether ring, and turn the body back on. Now as the battery cap starts to tighten, the tether ring will spin. And now's a good opportunity to as you tighten the battery cap by pushing down on the top to start to time where you want this horn to be I prefer the horn to be in line with this light bulge here and I'll show you why you know that light bulge needs to be lined up really in the corner of the holster you know if it's here it sticks the pinpointer sticks up and if you without the tether ring I always find it's you're always trying to figure out where that's at now you have something as you can feel so if you know where that horn is it's very quick to holster plus the horn is along your belt line and it doesn't get in the way if the horns sticking out here you may find it is uh, getting in the way so if you time it with that um, you're good and the next thing I do is just check it uh, by shaking it make sure 
your, the battery connections are good. It's going off because uh, I have lights here. For the other end of the tether ring, my personal preference is to take your holster and uh, put this end here. And then we snap it. And that's it. So now your tether's there. You know, you can grab it here and put it down. With the tether, you'll find that, you know, once you on the ground pinpointing, I don't even pick the, the, the pinpointer up. I go ahead and stand up and just pull the tether and uh, slap it in there. Now I'll show you how to remove the battery cap. Say you need to change the battery because that tether ring will slip as you start to unscrew it. You may find that the cap is slipping and not unscrewing. Rather, the tether ring's just slipping in between the two. So, if that's the case, you open it up, you push down on the cap and you put upward pressure with these fingers on the tether ring while you turn and it should come come loose okay you shouldn't have a problem especially if you're lubricated that o-ring every fourth or fifth battery swap just occasionally clean it and uh, lubricate it i've had some pinpointers with even without tether rings that uh, I've had to practically destroy the battery cap because the o-ring dried out and actually dry rotted inside it and stuck so it's a good idea every several three or four battery changes to put Vaseline on that o-ring but if you do get a tight battery cap and then you do get this slipping of the tether ring and pushing down and pulling up doesn't work as a last resort if you're you know out in the field you can I just take my keys that battery cap has scallops little radius cuts you could stick your key let's find a little smaller one and stick your key in one of those scallops and then twist so that key is locking in the cap to the tether ring and then twist it once it breaks loose from the body you can just simply unscrew it change your battery tighten it back up as you tighten it As you're tightening it, time your horn to be in line with that. 